If you work for the government, this is tailored for you. If you don't work for the government and want to make money, and I mean a lot of money, then this applies to you too. Imagine a world in which AI is controlled by one or two or three corporations that are basically governments unto themselves, and then the United States government and foreign entities. Talk about a massive accretion of power. AI is um, perhaps uh, more dangerous than, say, mismanaged uh, aircraft design or production maintenance or, or, or b bad car production. Don't put them on the open internet until you solve the control problem. Don't teach them to code because that makes them self-developing. Mm. And don't have other AIs prompting them, other agents working with them. And we've crossed all three lines. It's all happening so fast, but you can't physically see it because it's all virtual. And the extreme acceleration, the exponential rate of growth can be deceiving and make it feel like you're barely moving at all. Bismillah rahman rahim Here's how to become an AI superpower. You need compute and a lot of computing power. CPUs, or more accurately TPUs, that are purpose-built for AI will be needed. Current top of the line is NVIDIA's A100. So computing power is important for large language models and how many you need depends on your goals. Next in line is capacity. Not just to store the data, but having access to quality data is critical because the window is fast closing. There are more and more restrictions being enforced by various entities around the world to restrict AI systems training on their data, and rightly so. However, those who have already done it have a unique advantage because they train their systems on the available data before the restrictions. Let's talk a little bit about national security and, and AI, if we could. Mr. Amade, to come back to you, you, you mentioned in your written testimony, in your policy recommendations, your first recommendation, in fact, is the United States must secure the AI supply chain. And then you mentioned immediately, as an example of this, chips used for training AI systems. Where are most of the chips made now? Capability. For obvious reasons, it is not practical to host critical data centers offshore. You want your data centers onshore and fully independent and operational. And the cornerstone of this entire puzzle is the competency. You could have the best car in the world with the most amazing specs, but without an equally competent driver, it's not worth much. Over time, it'll just rust away and become useless. So hiring the right staff is key because the best AI infrastructure in the world would be like a car without a driver if you don't have the right skilled people in place. Now the question has to be asked, what's the catch here? Well, there's the small matter of a price tag for all the C's, and that is capital. This sweet deal can be yours for as little as a cool $750 million. Or, if you want to fork out a little extra cash and go for more bells and whistles, $1.2 billion is what you're looking at, give or take a couple of hundred million. But wait, there's some good news, because this is where you, the viewer, come in. And it doesn't matter if you work for the government or not. It doesn't matter if you have money or not. You have three ways of making boatloads of money. Option one, you're either someone who creates a Gen AI model and offers it business to business, business to government, business to consumer, or you are the government and offer it to others. So think names like OpenAI, Anthropic, Bard, possibly even Gemini, and others. Or you're someone who doesn't have the money or the means for option one, so naturally, we go for option two. You enable organizations to move towards AI large language models by building custom models for them or onboarding organizations on pre-trained existing models, and so on. And last but not least, you're someone who is a single individual, meaning you don't really have any financial backing and work in a company or organization that is average at best. The only thing you do have is that you're an aspiring AI subject matter expert. So despite not having any cash or financial backing of any kind, you can get the big bucks by becoming a pioneer in your organization and become a trailblazer by leading the AI effort. Furthermore, you can even have side hustles by creating courses, offer consultancy, and much more while you're learning and earning. Have a good one.